However, we have actually got an intruder. Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas 8. Can you believe it? We're eight days into Vlogmas already. I do apologise if I sound a bit stuffy, a bit bunged up, but I don't feel 100% at all, but we still need to keep going. The grind for Vlogmas is real, so I'm going to do everything in my power to still get a video out today. So, if that doesn't deserve a like button, I do not know what will. We are planning on just doing a whole day at the office, testing video games, listing, uh, prepping, picking, packing, skewing. We're doing a lot of stuff in the unit today, so follow us on our journey. First stop, we need to hit the co-op. But first, we have fallen into a charity shop. Voila. Wow, that is a shame. We got this little phase eight dress, seven pound. Should be able to get like 30 quid for that. It's a really nice sort of like cocktail dress for hopefully nice little winter's dress. That looks pretty good. Uh, may even suit me. Okie dokie do. Next up, the co-op. Bish, bash and bosh. And we have made it to the unit ready for a few hours worth of work. However, we have actually got an intruder within the um, the unit. Let me show you the uh, evidence. Yes, look at this. And more specifically, look at that. Oh, and that, and that. Yeah, look at it all as a <laughs> in its fine glory. So, which might mean the intruder might be a little field mouse because the unit is backing on from a field and somehow he's managed to get in and uh, chomp through my Ralph Lauren polo shirt, which I was actually going to get listed today, but uh, not like that. Where's James collects when you need him? James, how the freck do I get rid of these little field mouse? Because, uh, yeah, I don't want him doing that again. So we have picked the, some items that we need to pack today that need to go out today. So I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and get these packed now. have it packing completed and today's choice of music was the wonderful chris stapleton and a little bit of eric church and even a little bit of luke combs pure country vibes only and this is the stack of stuff that we need to label up as we speak so next job is to produce the labels for this Rightio, postage cost a whopping £25 plus VAT. Not too bad considering there's about 10 items going out today, including two video game consoles. And there we have it, job done. Rightio, packaging done. And now I want to try and get these Yu Gi Oh sort of card swiper things tested and listed today because they're probably worth about £100 each. And they owe us £10 for the pair, so £5 each. So definitely not a bad little flip indeed. Right, we've put some batteries in and we have some lights. I kind of thought they would make some sort of sound effects, but clearly not. We have watched a couple of YouTube videos and regrettably they are pretty nerdy, but um, <laughs> we have blast off. But yeah, they both work and they both just need a clean. So that's what I'm gonna do now, get them cleaned, ready to list and have a multi quantity listing of two. I genuinely can't believe how rare these are and how much they go for. We are probably gonna go for about a hundred pound plus per one. And I think they owe us five pound, which is crazy. And I don't know why I've been putting on off this for so long, but I think it's the perfect time now to get them listed and get them gone. Nothing that a good old pair of baby wipes won't be able to uh, sort out. Well, that looks a lot cleaner than it did before. This is like the ultimate present, like ultimate Christmas present for a kid that loves Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a beast, absolute beautiful little listing going on the store in the next couple of hours. 
everything that we've listed today is being plonked up at CR13 so I know exactly where it is when it sells. We've got another Wii listed, so I'm just going to make up a box now. And that can live in rack and four until it sells. And then what I will do is write what a Wii bundle it is. So it's the one that's got the golden eye with the gun. And then once it sells, I know exactly which one I need to pack. So we've got a couple of sheepskin, real leather like uh, jackets that we're going to list in. We've got one that's Bailey's of Glastonbury, probably get that listed for 35. And then we've got another one, which isn't Glastonbury one, but it's nurseries. But again, it's a sheepskin, fully sheepskin lined, Sherpa in line. It's a butte. Again, should be another £35. This is what you want to be seeing when you're dealing with these types of jackets. Genuine sheepskins made in England. And they command pretty good money. So definitely be on the lookout for them. Next job on the list is get this bag of stock skewed up. I don't think I've listed everything in here, but we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Rightio, I've got four items that have sold today that need to also go out today, so we're going to get them packed right now. We've sold a pair of emu insoles, another $17.95. They're becoming an absolute bargain. What a deal of the century. A pair of DMs, they sold for 40 Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Nintendo Wii, we sold that for £9, and we sold a les paul guitar for 42 pound on the xbox 360 it looks a bit of a problem to pack but let me show you one little trick some people don't realize on the back of the guitar here you have this clip which if you do that the neck of the guitar will release like so so it makes packing this beautiful item a lot more easier little tip might go a long way some of you guys may or may not know that but hopefully i have taught somebody something new in today's video you can actually uh yeah unclip that which makes it so much easier to pack so what i'm going to do now put you guys on a time lapse and get these four items packed and hopefully dropped off at a local hermes slash every shop today i look Ew. We've done. Packing is officially finished for the day. We just need to get the labels printed off right this second. Oh, right. Packing done listing done we got like 10 items listed and three or four more drafted which was good we're now going to every to drop off the parcels and then we'll see what happens in the rest of the day however i feel absolute rubbish so i might just relax for the rest of the day so i do apologize if this video comes out shorter but like i said we'll see how i feel and we'll just crack on with the day parcels done we're now home and i'm just gonna not gonna lie guys i'm literally just gonna put a pizza on eat it and probably crash on the sofa. So, pizza down. Cheeky little bit of Chicago down. Serene. Honestly, I feel like death. Oh. Oh. Get this done and probably just crash out for the rest of the night. Oh, that looks amazing. Uh, yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna end today's video there. I do apologize if it's slightly shorter than usual and if I sound very bundled up. Um, I think I'm going to call it an early night tonight. Just currently uploading Vlogmas number six as we speak. Um, and yeah, I'll probably have an early-ish night. Try and sort of knock this head cold on the nose or whatever it is. Do apologize again. Uh, apologize again if I sound bunged up and sound like rubbish. Um, yeah, I think I'm coming down with some sort of cold. Anyway, guys, I hope you do enjoy this series. Vlogmas is on, foot in the full swing of things now, and I see you beautiful lot tomorrow at around 8 p.m. 8 p.m. seems the best time for me at the moment, so hopefully 8 p.m. is okay with you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Bish, bash, bosh.